Good evening. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It's 9.47 in the evening on Saturday, February 12th, 2022. And we have the forecast, earthquake forecast for nine different countries. We will start with California. All right, here's a seismograph. Close that down. So um, <clears throat> we have a uh, a situation in California, we have two hotspots, one in uh, San Francisco Bay, one northwest of Los Angeles. And uh, we have a new forecast model that uh, a little different forecast model than this one <clears throat> puts the risk just northwest of Los Angeles. So we have uh, most of the forecast models are saying both San Francisco and northwest of Los Angeles. And this one is a, a, an outlier, it's saying uh, northwest of Los Angeles and not too much of San Francisco Bay. Uh, we still, uh, and then uh, after this, the uh, risk begins to build in California. I, I think what's going to happen, and this forecast still remains valid through, the, through tomorrow, uh, we have a possibility of a strong earthquake in San Francisco Bay or northwest of LA. Um, I'm going to lean toward, um, let's see here real quick. I'm going to lean toward this forecast model here. And then we will get to uh, the uh, much stronger earthquake, I think of the 15th or 16th. Um, however, this is the situation right now. 4.0 to 5.0 earthquake is likely uh, in the Northwest Los Angeles area, just Northwest of Los Angeles. Uh, today or tomorrow. And uh, then I think we can start worrying about this other situation here, uh, a much stronger earthquake, the 14th through the 16th, but we'll get to that in the future. But I think for now, uh, I mean, this, this is still valid, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> However, uh, this is more apt to happen right here. And that is just Northwest of Los Angeles today or tomorrow, 4.0 to 5.0 earthquake is likely. So uh, please stop back and visit our forecast and video uh, during the next few days. It looks like the risk will be building up again, but a much stronger earthquake, uh, the 14th through the 16th. But I think for now, we'll look at something Northwest of Los Angeles, the 12th or the 13th. All right, in Alaska, we have a very, very high risk, uh, just uh, close to Anchorage, Alaska, today and tomorrow. So 5.5 uh, to 6.0 earthquake is likely, uh, most likely near Kodiak Island, but uh, anywhere around the uh, Anchorage area there, Anchorage to Kodiak, a strong 5.5 to 6.0 earthquake is likely to the next 48 hours. Greece, we have a high risk up in the northeast part of Greece, 12th and 13th, and then the 13th and 14th in Northern Albania, and 14th and 15th up in Northeast uh, Greece as well again, and Bulgaria, that area. Chile, the risk is building in the area west of La Serena and Northwest of Santiago right here, and also Southeast of Santiago, Chile. We've been talking about this for a couple of days. Uh, very high risk in uh, West Central Sumatra. So that area uh, is, uh, could get a 6.0 earthquake or larger in Western Sumatra, right about in between, uh, well, Northwest of Jakarta here in the Western, West Central part of Sumatra. Italy, risk is high in the Northeast at 78% on the 12th and 13th. 13th and 14th, uh, high risk here in East Central Italy, extending down to Southeast Italy. And in Peru, there's an area uh, Southeast of Lima, down here in Southern Peru. I could get a 4.0 to 5.0 earthquake in that area. And then in Japan, we have, this is a serious situation here. Um, all the forecast models are agreeing that there would be a large earthquake in 
of the area around Tokyo, most likely southeast of Tokyo, right here in the Shizuoka area, Izu Islands, Chiba, Shizuoka, and Yokohama, southeast of Tokyo, south and southeast of Tokyo, during the next uh, 48 hours or so. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see a 6.5 earthquake in that area. So very high risk, uh, 6.0 to 7.0 earthquake is possible and even likely in that area southeast of Tokyo during the next 48 hours. All right, and then uh, you can see this uh, quake right here. This is where that this quake just hit a little while ago up near Simi Valley. That's where the risk is centered uh, right now up in that area near Simi Valley, northwest of Los Angeles. So uh, this quake that just hit here, northwest near Simi Valley, northwest of Los Angeles, that is where we could expect a 4.0 to 5.0 earthquake in the next uh, 36 to 48 hours, northwest of LA. And uh, the risk is still building. We still could get a, a strong earthquake in the San Francisco Bay or northwest of LA uh, from this forecast here, this forecast model here. However, the highest risk is northwest of Los Angeles, um, kind of in that area around uh, Simi Valley there, Santa Clarita, Thousand Oaks, Moore Park, Fillmore, that area, 4.0 to 5.0 earthquake is likely during the next 36 to 48 hours, 12 to 13th. And then stay tuned because uh, on the 14th to the 16th, the risk is continuing to build across California. And we'll have more details on that tomorrow, looking for a stronger earthquake on the 14th through the 16th, but about a 4.0 to 5.0 northwest of LA during the next 24 to 36 hours. Big quake in the uh, Anchorage area during the next 48 hours as well, uh, near south of uh, Anchorage. And let's see, in Chile, the risk is building west of La Serena. Indonesia, still that very high risk area could produce a 6.0 earthquake in Western Sumatra. And in Peru, Southern Peru is high risk. And this is a serious situation here in, in uh, Japan as well. A 6.5 earthquake is uh, possible. 6.0 to 7.0 earthquake is likely uh, during the next uh, 13th into the 14th of February. All the models are agreeing on this large earthquake southeast of Tokyo during the next uh, 36 to 48 hours. All right, and there it is, significant earthquake northwest of LA during the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. And then we'll uh, be sure to check back. We'll have more information on that much stronger earthquake coming to California um, in our forecast tomorrow. Thank you for your support. Uh, QuakePrediction.com here for uh, 17 years of research, 187,000 followers on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks for your support, and God bless you, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.